Guys, what is going on? This is our vertical takedown offers. Uh, this was requested by a ton of people. I'm finally recording it. This video is gonna be a bit long, uh, but strap in because this is gonna be something that you have likely never seen before. Uh, essentially, I'm gonna show you how we scale agencies from zero all the way up to 100K per month doing what we call vertical takedowns. Uh, now, I wanna really talk quickly about some backstory behind this offer. This is something that has taken about two and a half years, probably $2 million in raw costs and 30 plus staff to build. Okay, this is not some kind of thing where it's like, oh yeah, let's just do an offer. Like this is uh, something that has taken a long, long time to perfect and get this down. This is something that is not easy, right? So I don't want people watching this and being like, oh man, that's easy, I can go do it myself and get results. This is hard, right? This is why we actually do this for people and partner with them to do it uh, so we can just build it out and manage it instead of trying to teach people how to do this so much anymore, okay? So if you want us to do this for you and your agency, uh, drop a comment or, you know, there's links below. Um, hit us up and, and we'll see if it's a good fit. Uh, really, this each one of these takes about six months of my time. So I like to vet every single one uh, very carefully. But essentially, if you were to look at the ways to use Audience Lab to just go absolutely insane and rack out, this is what you do is you do a vertical takedown offer. Um, I'm launching some of my own of these, right? This is too good for me to just share with you and not do it myself but I'm also partnering with some other people inside to do this. Okay, so let's jump right in. We're gonna start at zero revenue. Um, however, if you are someone that is looking to do this, you know, even though we can start at zero revenue, we do like to, to have some kind of experience, whether you might be a current agency owner, wanting to start an agency, you might have sales experience. There's a, a few things I like to look at here, but let's say you're at ground zero, you've got nothing, right? So the first thing we're going to do as part of a vertical takeover is what we call a Trojan horse offer, all right? Now, I know a lot of you have probably read, you know, the Alex Homozy, uh Irresistible Offers. There's this real kind of vibe in, in the industry these days with everybody creating these crazy Irresistible Offers. Like, I'll give you... 200,000 appointments in six days for free or something. It's outrageous, all right? This is all you need in order to build an offer that is going to work on cold traffic. That is all you need. You don't need to have an offer that just blows people away and it's just so unbelievable that they're just like, this is probably a scam. You just need to have an offer that works on cold traffic. So to do this, we do what's called Trojan Horse Offers, okay? Now, a Trojan Horse offer is an offer designed to work on cold traffic. Whether it be Facebook ads, whether it be cold email, it's designed to work because it's got these elements here that I've listed, right? And I'll go into each one probably on another video, but just a real quick rundown. We've got corporate angst, right? So many offers don't have corporate angst. Like, can your offer get someone fired if they say no and the boss found out? Uh, probably not, right? Um, high reward, low risk, performance driven, you gotta get quick results with a quick feedback loop, right? Quick results does not mean that you have to bust your ass and, and get insane results in 24 hours. It means you need a feedback loop that is well managed um, and novelty chunked. Novelty chunked is something that I don't really see talked about ever. Essentially, uh, I see a lot of people running ads like, oh man, this is uh, our AI driven blah, 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 and they use all this technical jargon and it actually scares bigger businesses and businesses that you wanna work with, it scares them away. Uh, so you want to novelty chunk things to make this work. All right, so that's the first thing we do is we build our Trojan horse offer. Now to do that, we have some pre-made offers that we just slot into your business and just run these, right? So we've got the case studies, the landing pages, everything there that we can just slot into your business uh, and just get ads working really from the get. I would say uh, in the first couple of days, so long as everything's set up correctly, uh, you should be able to start pumping out leads, okay? So uh, just to give you an idea of the caliber of people that you will meet when you build a Trojan horse offer, right? This one here, intro to a $12 billion lender. Uh, this guy here, 100K a month deal with a major franchise, right? That's 500 offices and 4,000 real estate agents. Okay, so uh, it's, it's not small change when you have an offer like this. 
uh, this one here, 100 calls per day at $80, right? That is basically you met with a company and they had a budget of uh, about $200,000, $300,000 per month to test what we call Trojan Horse 4, which is targeted B2B campaigns, right? We have about seven Trojan Horses. Uh, we're adding them on as we go, uh, as we find new ones as well, but we'll slot those in your business and that's how it works. This lady here, 30K retainer within the first month, right? She used Trojan Horse 6. Uh, Adam, 8K per month using, uh, I think it was Trojan Horse 1 or 2. Uh, this guy here, five figure month, uh, did the organic takedown offer, and that's another Trojan Horse we do. Uh, this one here, 10K retainer. Uh, this is Mark, $72,000 close doing this. Um, these guys absolutely racked out on this. They were introduced with brands like uh, HR Block, Jackson Hewitt, Walmart, right? Like this is how you get in front of the people that you want to get in front of and your ideal prospects. You need a Trojan horse offer, right? I've got a bunch of case studies here that I can uh, add in, but I don't want this video to take too long. We're already on, oh God, we're already on six minutes. We've got to crack on, okay? So that's the first thing we do is you build out a Trojan horse offer, all right? That is an offer that is designed to work on cold traffic in a corporate context, right? The very important part, in a corporate context, right? Like if you're a coach and you have a coaching offer, that's not gonna work in a corporate context. And uh, there's many reasons why. It's because you don't tick these boxes, okay? All right, then we have B2B to C targeting. This thing is game changing. I don't like saying game changing because game changing is such a, you know, everyone changes the game these days or no one really changes the game. But I think this actually does change the game. Essentially what we figured out how to do is identify exact businesses, right? So companies, and then match that to the personal identifier. So why is this so powerful? So let me zoom in on this image here. So let's say for an example, you're looking to target, I don't know, attorneys on Facebook ads. You're looking to run an ad for attorneys, okay, to get attorneys as clients. You wanna be in front of attorneys. Okay, so the first way that a lot of people do this is they'll just go to LinkedIn or they'll pay some VA and they'll just get a scrape list of attorneys or maybe they'll go to Apollo or something, right? You know, so you've got John Smith at attorneyxyz.com. Now, this doesn't work when you upload it to Facebook because it doesn't match to anything. And the reason why is because you're using B2B data on a B2C platform. You see Facebook, Google, TikTok, all these platforms, pretty much any ad platform out there is a B2C platform, right? Uh, so what you wanna do is you need to match the B2B to the B2C. So you need to have some type of linkage built in, which we had to build ourselves and, and pay a team to do it, to link it together so that I'm able to find John Smith at XYZ Investments and then find who he is as his personal identifiers. And his personal email is John Smith 6522 whatever at gmail.com. So that's how you get a 70 to 80% match rate when using B2B audiences on Facebook ads, Google ads or whatever, okay? So we identify the exact companies you wanna work with, all right? So in this stage, when we get into the Trojan Horse offer, we're gonna find a niche that we think works well Right? We just did one recently and we're like, you know what? This guy didn't know what he wanted to do. And we're like, well, we've had success in HVAC. So we're gonna put you in home services. We built a brand. Now he's going to crush it and he's gonna enter uh, in the takedown, which I'll show you soon. All right, so B2B to C targeting. This is how we run B2B Facebook ads, okay? This is how we crush it. This is how we were able to decrease lead from $36 to $19 and have better quality. This guy here, Kim, He's gone crazy with this. He's actually created an offer where all he does is B2B to C targeting and he's charging the big bucks for it. Turned $256 into $2,000 uh, for an agency owner. He had a client on and he had one audience and he's already generated them $16,000 doing it. Um, he is actually getting booked calls for about $17, right? $17 B2B freaking book calls. Okay, like that's that's insane. Book calls is usually like two hundred dollars B two B, if you're doing it right, All right? Um, and then this one here, you guys probably heard this case study. Air generated eleven million dollars from two hundred and fifty thousand dollars ad spend. That's like a forty x ROI if I'm doing math correctly, right? That's insanity. And how they did it was they found the exact companies I wanted to work with, like uh, call centers, um, agency owners, things like that. Then they matched it to the personal identifiers put it inside of Facebook, rock and roll, they ran ads and, and that's how they crushed it, right? It's when you're doing B2B to C targeting, it's super easy. You don't have to do a lot of work. Um, all you have to do is identify all your prospects, which are the B2B, matches the personal profiles, upload it, 
Uh, and then you can just run really simple ads. Like the ads that you run are like not complex. You don't have to trust broad, like everyone says, and upload like 50 million creatives of like different headlines and different shots and then let the algorithm do its work. You literally just target who you want and then you just create some simple image or some simple video ads on your phone. And that's how easy it is. So that's how we do a B2B to C matching process, okay? All right, so you got your Trojan Horse offer, which is your niche, everything's there, it's in front of you. Uh, it's a way that ticks all those boxes to be able to get a company just absolutely stoked. Uh, then we unleash the B2B to C targeting. So we put that offer with the B2B uh, B2B to C targeting, right? So you let's say we get all the home services business, we match those up, we're running ads to those, you're getting leads, things are good. Cool, you've got your first client, they're ready to go. Okay, now let's say you've done, you know, you're doing HVAC, you've never done HVAC ads before, right? You have no idea, you have no experience, that's okay. Because we have a secret weapon. This is something that I believe no one else really has. And when I say this is because we custom built it, and uh, it is our audience lab feed, okay? This is where we use audience lab. I mean, the B2B stuff is cool. This is something that is, I would say, even cooler. All right, so let me let me show you this. So I'm gonna show you um, how this works. <coughs> All right, so every week, uh, last week alone, uh, today is February 13th, so yeah, it was last week, um, for those that are watching at home, uh, we clocked, right, 50, billion URLs of data, right? So URLs, so not data points, like not like behaviors on like one URL, 50 U billion URLs, um, which are coming from competitors ads. Okay, so let me say that again. So all, let's, all this money that is going from other advertisers driving traffic through what we call programmatic advertising, right? So advertising on platforms like Trade Desk and things like that. Um, programmatic advertising, if you don't know, is essentially makes up one third of digital spend. There's billions and billions and billions of dollars spent on programmatic from major brands every single day, or maybe billions every day, every single week. Um, we get a log of all of that, right? So we're seeing where people are going. We're seeing where this money's going to, and we're seeing billions and billions of these websites. And then we're literally getting the traffic from these websites. So taking your competitor's traffic and then matching them to keywords, doing reverse SERP so we can see like where they came from, did they search stuff through like Google or Bing and building these crazy hyper-targeted audiences that update every single day, okay? That's a lot, uh, but essentially we have the competitors traffic that we can use for advantage. So let me show how powerful this is, right? Let's go back to HVAC, HVAC is a great example. I'm literally building a HVAC agency as we speak. Okay, so I go to examples. So uh, let's say for an example, um, let's go here. So I'm building an audience and I've got a HVAC company. They're like, cool, I wanna find people that are looking for cooling and your services for my HVAC company. Cool, I just grab this audience right here, right? And you're probably wondering, okay, so how does it determine that someone's looking for HVAC? It's looking at websites like this, right? Check this out. So we're actually pulling competitor traffic, right? Stitching it together from websites like HVACboss.com, okay? So like, if somebody's on here and they're looking at here and they're going through all this content and they're like looking at a HVAC system, right? And they've been to dozens of websites like this, say in the past 24 hours, they're, they're probably wanting HVAC, right? So that's how we're able to match those behaviors. Uh, these are the kinds of websites we're looking at. And uh, it's the level of data is just insane. So um, this is another example, right? Like we're doing a campaign for Rick Simpson Oil, which is like a like a CBD thing. And how we're able to contextually make sure that we have the segment right, if we look at all the main keywords, then we look at the long tail keywords, then we look at the specific industry keywords, we take all of that and then we match that to a stream of 50 billion different URLs coming from a log of actual bids, not just searches, but people that are placing bids on websites. And then we build audiences from there, right? And updates every single day. So you're good to go there. So having that data, you're going to run something that we call audience ads, okay? Uh, and essentially this is where you run your audience, uh, essentially you run ads directly to your audience. You don't mess around with anything else, right? You do it faster, cheaper, quicker, smarter, okay? Uh, so let me show you a little bit about audience ads and how it works. 
So just a reminder, we're in our third stage now. So we've done the Trojan horse, B2B to see targeting. We've got our first HVAC client. They're like, yeah, let's do it. What are you guys going to do for us? We're, like, we're going to run ads for you to generate leads. Oh, cool. Everybody does that, right? But we do it so much better because check this out. Okay. So all we have to do is we're going to find an audience of all the people that are already looking for HVAC services. Okay. So we're going to skip this whole idea and this whole phase that all the other advertisers go through where they throw shit at the wall and see what sticks, right? So instead of us having to run interest or do broad and wait for the Facebook and, and pray that it finds our customer, we just find people that are already looking for that, right? Based on uh, getting a log of all our competitors' bids. Then what we do is we run very simple Facebook ads. We get great results and bring the lead cost down, okay? Again, our team actually does this for you. If you do this, if you do this kind of build out, our team actually does this for you. We have a managed services team and our audience ads is actually my performance team that does this, okay? And we're managing a, a dozens of verticals right now. So cool, you're getting you know leads for your client. They're happy, they're good leads because you're using the data. Then what do you do? Then you use our pixel, which takes anywhere from 30 to 60%, it varies based on the traffic source of traffic, matches it to a personal identifier. So now you're getting two to three times results uh, for your client because you're taking anonymous traffic, matching it, and revealing, um, uh, revealing the email and the number, and then doing a text activation campaign uh, using an AI bot. And now you're just doubling the results for your client without them spending more, right? They're, they're mega, mega happy. All right. so. That's what audience ads is. This is essentially the way that we run ads, that we'd run ads for your client, that you'd run ads for your client, uh, depending how it goes, is you're gonna use Audience Lab, build hyper-targeted audiences, we run ads, they hit the landing page, our pixel then picks up all the leftover data, and then we just get as many leads as possible, okay? It's easier, it's better, it's quicker than uh, just traditional Facebook ads. All right. So uh, just to give you an idea of some of these audiences, um, uh, Rob, right? So before he was getting about six to $9 cost per click, right, with 20% conversion rate, which is actually pretty good. Um, he's, he's in a very like high, uh, high ticket tech niche. Uh, using these audiences and using this new way of running ads with uh, audiences from Audience Lab, he was able to generate uh, a cost per click of $1.03, uh, 50% conversion rate, Right, so we're talking double the conversion rate. Uh, so three times the number of clicks, double the conversion rate, right? So he's at 50% conversion rate using these audiences. Peter did the same thing. Uh, he didn't even use our sync feature then. All he did was he just took the data, put it inside of Facebook, and he was able to drop his CPA by 40%. Usually we see about a 40 to 50% cost drop depending on the vertical and if people do this correctly. Bobby. Hitting the same market over and over and over for years. Usually his cost for opt-in is about 10 to $25. Use the audience that we gave him, 24 hours cost drop at 50%, right? Absolutely crushed it. Uh, Nick, able to generate 24 extra appointments, no additional ad spend by using the pixel. Okay, so he put the pixel on, uh, you know, the same amount of traffic, leads were matched up. He then contacted them, was able to book in 24 additional appointments. This is David. His CPL fell to the floor as soon as he started using these audiences. Uh, I think he was doing one for uh, auto accidents. Oh, he was doing something in legal, I remember. Uh, his goal was like $80 and he absolutely slashed that in half. Uh, and this is another one, I lawyer. Uh, these guys were running ads, uh, lead forms, which if you know lead forms, you know they're not like the best quality. But when you use lead forms with this data, uh, he said about 80% of these leads were actually who they say they were, like actually qualified. He was trying to find clients that were attorneys. We built him an audience using Audience Lab and he found attorneys, right? Like pretty sweet. So that's how you do it. All you have to do is just build an audience inside of Audience Lab and run ads to it. Our team does that for you. You can do it yourself. In this type of plan, our team will do it for you and you're good to go, okay? If you don't know what that looks like, essentially this is Audience Lab. This is our software. You can build any audience you want. So if I wanted to run ads for HVAC, I can just go to add audience. I can do keywords or I can do pre-made. doesn't really matter. And I go HVAC. Our model goes through, it pulls in all the different HVAC keywords. I want HVAC systems, commercial HVAC, residential HVAC, cool. Generate the audience. That audience is gonna be huge. I probably just need 
you know, is my client doing commercial, residential? Let me know. And then generate audience, okay? That's how you do it. Then what you do inside of uh, Audience Lab is you just take this and then you'll go to see here. You'll sync this directly to your ad account, right? So you're picking your ad account. And then here's where it gets even crazier. Uh, what happens is all of these audiences sync in every single day with new data into Facebook, okay? So you know how people are always like, oh man, creative burnout and your audience burns out. These don't burn out because it's taking from 50 billion plus behaviors every single week, building them into audiences and every single day it's pumping new audiences into your ad account, right? So it's updating that audience, the lookalikes, everything get more powerful. Um, so yeah, that's audience ads. So that's the kind of ads that we run and that's how we fulfill for your client. So let's say you've got a few HVAC clients now. You got, let's say 10 HVAC clients. Each HVAC client is paying you $3,000 a month, right? Which is pretty fair. If they have the pixel, they are getting leads and they're getting custom data samples. Like that's pretty damn good. You could charge $5,000 a month and I've seen people do it easily. All right, so you've got what's called a vertical POC, which basically means you have found a vertical that's working and uh, you're running ads, everything's looking good. And now you can do this step here, which is called the vertical takedown. All right, now the vertical takedown is essentially scaling a vertical um, and getting way, way, way more revenue with less clients, okay? So it's actually less headache and it's a better way to scale uh, an agency. And you're actually building an asset which you can keep scaling, you can sell it later down the line for a pretty decent multiple if you do this correctly. All right, not saying, hey, you know, it's that easy to sell your agency, but this is how you'd want to do it if you're going to do it. Okay, so vertical POC, uh, basically as soon as we hit a certain amount of clients, we're like, all right, cool, we know we're doing well. Okay, so let's say at this point, you're at anywhere from the 10 to 50K a month mark. Let's say you're at 25K a month. All right, so things are looking good. Now here's what you do. Now that we have a vertical POC and we know that this vertical works, we're going to do what's called a vertical takedown, which has a few steps. All right, so a vertical takedown looks like this. So we've got the proof of concept that the ads are working. So now that we know the ads are working, we're going to create our own branded asset. All right, so instead of running Facebook ads on behalf of the client, like you would be doing before on their Facebook page, on their uh, assets, whatever, we're going to create our own branded asset. So let's say we create, you know, hvacsurge.com, right? That might not be taken, but that's gonna be our brand, okay? So what we do is we're gonna run ads directly from our brand instead of using our client's assets, because that means we're building equity in a brand that we've created every time we run ads, okay? So it looks like that, you know, all we do is we swap out the brand. Um, then what we do is we go to our client and we say, hey, look, I'm happy to actually just sell you the leads directly because I know what the cost per lead is. Um, and you can just buy leads from me. And we don't even need to do it in the ad account. You just give me the ad spend and I'll send you the leads, okay? Now, most clients are gonna be fine with that because you're gonna use this for multiple clients within that vertical. Uh, but if they're not, they have to pay an exclusivity fee, right? If they're like, no, 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 I want you to just serve us then you go, okay, well, you have to sign a 12 month exclusivity fee. Like it's, you know, if, if a client wants you that bad, they don't want you to work with anybody else, they got to pay a premium, okay? So that's how you can upsell very, very easily. All right, so now you're running ads from your own asset and you're getting leads come through. You have one asset for multiple clients, everything's looking good. Now you do what's called the organic takedown. And this is what we refer to as a moat, right? This is where competitors can't touch you. So I actually spoke about this at AdWorld a little, a little while ago and uh, it blew people's minds. So essentially, this is how it works. So every day, Google drops millions of search terms that are so specific that they're virtually invisible, all right? So there's about 15% of search terms that are unique in the sense where like they're insanely long tail. So like, let's say like this one, right? Let's say Zantech lawsuit or Zantech recall due to cancer causing uh, NDMA. Uh, Zantag, Cancer Lawsuit, Dr. Miller, Leonard. so like they're hyper, hyper targeted long tail keywords. All right, so there's millions of these every single day. They have more intent than any other keyword, but they're almost impossible to find because platforms like Ahrefs, Google Analytics is not gonna pick them up because they're so small. The only way to find them is to rank the content and then see it, you know, just see the traffic appear. So what we do is essentially, uh, we have a system that we partner with. We've got, th these are just, a player partners, right? And we do this for you. Uh, we don't trust people to do this themselves. We don't advise you how to do this. We don't teach how to do this. We just do it for you. Because if we teach how to do it, there's so many ways you can go wrong. 
We've seen people do it wrong and we don't want them to do it wrong. So we just do it for you. Okay. So we get, you know, anywhere from one to two, I actually just go sometimes 10, five to 10 high intent keywords. So let's say like, you know, best HVAC commercial near me or whatever. We turn that into a hundred thousand plus high intent long tail keywords. So let's say it's, it's keywords that have like 10 words in it. Right. Um, really high intent keywords. And then the system is going to build a hundred thousand pages to rank for each of those keywords. All right. So you've got a hundred thousand pages and what's going to happen is we usually see anywhere from like 50 to 60% of these pages actually get indexed. Okay. So, uh, let's say end of the day, you build this out. Now this is not something that happens overnight. It takes a couple of months to get this working. There's a lot of nuances here. Hence we don't teach you how to do this anymore. We just build it. Um, you're going, let's say you have, you know, a hundred thousand pages that are indexed. So let's say you did like, you know, 400,000 pages or anything like that. Uh, let's say you've got a hundred thousand pages that are indexed and each page is only getting like two to three hits per month, right? That is a lot of targeted traffic. Okay. And it's, it's insanely highly targeted traffic. So what we do then is with a flick of a switch. Okay. This is like something where you can literally do it in a couple of minutes you can redirect all of these landing pages to your own landing page. Okay. So instantly you get a huge surge of traffic that is now coming through every month. So you can get leads from that. However, where it gets super, super crazy is in that same flick of the switch, you can actually put our super pixel on every single one of these landing pages, uh, using a global tag that we developed, uh, with the, the guys that are running this. And basically what it does is it's going to then match up anywhere from, you know, 20, 30 to 60% of human traffic, right? Not bot traffic, but human traffic to the full identity, which is going to give you a surge of thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of leads that are hyper targeted each month. So not only do you now have, you know, your system, which is getting more and more traffic organically. Plus you've got the ads, everything is sending to your asset and generating leads that you're sending out to the client, but you've also got a whole SEO infrastructure infrastructure around it, uh, which then your identity resolution pixel is then matching leads off that, which is just insanity. This is why we call it the organic takedown. Okay. So this is how it looks. All right. So let me show you how it's supposed to look. You've got your SEO assets that are just generating leads every single day. Okay. Because they're sending to the landing page and people are opting in. You've got your audience lab audiences, which are updating every 24 hours, right? And then you're running Facebook ads or whatever, any simple ads, and which is generating leads from the landing page. And then you've got our pixel here, which is then matching up anyone that visits the site, even if they don't put in their, their email or opt in, it's still matching up their details, which you can use like an AI booking system that we have to basically rebook these people. So you've got all these leads now that you can then sell to the client or the clients, right? So you could basically really have like three main clients that are buying, you know, a couple thousand leads per month and you can scale this to the absolute moon. Now, why this is so powerful is because this asset that you've built, you can now take this and you can just rinse and repeat it for other niches, or you can just stay in this niche and just keep growing it, right? You just build more pages, more traffic, run more ad spend, generate more leads, disperse it out to more clients. All right. So it really is an entire vertical takedown from generating an offer, which we know someone in the niche is going to want to the b 2 b to c targeting. So getting in front of every single company uh, in that vertical and then targeting them on paid ads, having a super easy fulfillment system that we can implement that gets them insane results, taking those learnings and then building an entire vertical takedown offer. So you can have an asset that you could scale to the moon or eventually sell. That's the best way that you can use audience lab. All right. So, that is a vertical takedown offer, right? It's probably unlike anything you've seen before in terms of how to run an agency. Most people is like, cool, you get one client for like $2,000 a month and now you do it for like a hundred clients and just, you know, want to burn it to the ground later. 
That's not what we do here, okay? So uh, again, this is not something that we teach. Um, we teach a lot of stuff in Audience Lab and we teach how to do it. We have over a thousand clients using Audience Lab, thousand agencies and advertisers, and we teach a ton of different stuff. But this particular thing, vertical takedowns, we have to just do this for you because there's so many ways that this can go wrong and get messed up, particularly in this stage here. This stage here, I've seen so many people mess that up by trying to do it themselves. Uh, we just now do it for them. Um, and we know it works, right? Because the results you get from this is just absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so that is vertical takedowns. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching guys. Appreciate you uh, sticking with me for the whole, uh, what, 20, 30 minutes. I think it was worth it.